What's up guys, I'm Cameron. And I'm Simon and we're engineers here at Z1 Off-Road. We're standing here with the 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. We are very attached to this car. We've spent countless hours underneath it. We've used it as our research and development vehicle to test basically every product that we have for this Frontier, the D41. Yeah, we're sad to see it go, but we're super excited for whoever gets this truck. This thing's gonna be a blast to take out on the trails. It's yeah. super capable truck. We've got all kinds of crazy stuff and uh, it's ready for whoever gets it. So we're, uh, we're excited. We'll start with the snorkel where everything begins. Uh, it's gonna get your fresh cold air from up top. When I designed this, I wanted it to have as much airflow as we could get so that we wouldn't inhibit our supercharger and so that we could have an unrestricted design that was good for all builds. Um, moving on, we have the cold air intake. This is the Z1 off-road cold air intake. We've been using it since we've got the truck, basically. We have made a few changes, as you can see. We added this larger tube for the supercharger. It's been a really great design. We have tweaked it a bunch. We've improved it over the years. We really like it. So keeping everything clean in the engine, we have the catch can that we designed in house. Uh, this is gonna keep your blow by and oil from getting through your PCV system into your engine and just gumming things up and making it messy. Now onto the supercharger, the moment you guys have all been waiting for. We feed it with a carbon intake that has been molded to fit back there is with as large of a diameter as we can. It's a really compact space, so we had to use whatever means we could, and carbon was the best solution for that. It's been really great to work with. Um, the pulley system bolts right on. It's a really simple install. The intercooling system is air to water. It's been great at keeping temps down. We've never had a problem with it. Uh, as far as the power numbers go, we have been testing this. It started life with 225 wheel horsepower, on our dyno at least. And right now, what we've been able to work up to is about 375 wheel horsepower and 340 wheel torque. Our Z1 tuning by Ecutech is all done in-house, and we've been able to really push that number, and we're looking forward to see what more we can get out of it. We have a couple more options that we're gonna play with in the future that we're gonna hopefully get a lot more out of the system. It's a massive blower for this engine. It's half the size of the displacement. So we definitely have room to grow and we're looking forward to seeing what we can get. Something that's made it really easy for us is our Z1 off-road hood struts. It's just keeps the hood higher. They're an extended lift hood strut. It makes it easier to get the supercharger in and out, do maintenance, all that sort of stuff. Um, our Z1 off-road coil packs have been great. We really love them. And sending everything out the rear is a Z1 off-road exhaust. It's a great sounding exhaust, we really like it. That's it for the power modifications. It's been a really unique platform to develop. There's a lot of things that have gone into it and it has been completely overhauled since we've started on it. It's, there's a lot of parts that have been just completely removed that we've designed something new and better to replace it with. All right guys, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our wheel tire and suspension setup for this truck. So we're running our prototype ATK06 uh, Z1 off-road wheels that we developed here in house. So this is a 17 inch wheel and we've got a 295-70 Geolander mud terrain on here. These tires are awesome. We've had the pleasure of taking them out on the trail ourselves and uh, we haven't gotten this thing stuck. You know, certainly it's not impossible, but they will give you all the traction. Uh, it's, it comes out to be about 33.5 inches, uh, which was a little bit of a challenge to clear. Our Titan Swell Op helped a lot with that. So essentially what we had to do is use our eccentric lockout kit. And we found a position for that kit that we actually can toggle the wheel forward about an inch. Um, and with that, we had to cut a lot less off the rear fender of our truck, uh, which is obviously nice. Um, we put our high clearance bumper on there, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. That helped clear the wheel in the front. Uh, and yeah, it came out awesome. So we love the wheel and tire setup on here. And behind all that, we've got our Nismo suspension. That stuff is awesome. Uh, this truck rides like a dream down the trails. It's super smooth and buttery. Uh, we've got a 600 pound Bilsting spring on the Nismo suspension, and that helps a lot with the extra weight from the bumper and all the accessories that we've got on here. Uh, 
But yeah, those shocks are awesome. Uh, soaks up all the bumps in the trail uh, and you can really get moving fast without really worrying too much. It's very confidence inspiring. Behind all that is our Titan Swap. We've got our Titan lower control arm with our Titan Swap and our uh, Z1 off-road forged upper control arms. Uh, these things are super stout and they give you a ton of adjustability so you can get the exact settings you want for camber and caster, get that perfect ride out of your truck. Certainly your alignment guy will thank you. Uh, this truck has been aligned uh, by us plenty of times as we go through and dial in the suspension and get the exact feel that we wanted for this truck. So in the rear we've got our same exact uh, wheel and tire setup as the front but we're running a two inch Z1 off-road wheel spacer. Um, and that's pretty cool because it pokes the wheel out to the edge of the fender well and matches that same super aggressive look that you see in the front with the Titan swap. All of that's dampened by our Nismo suspension in the rear as well. Um, those have held up great with all the extra added weight that we've put on this truck. Uh, no problems at all there. With our rear uh, leaf springs, we added our adjustable Z1 off-road shackles. So we ended up giving it about a one and a half inch lift in the rear. And those shackles are awesome because with all this added weight, we can climb up under there and we can actually grease the uh, shackle bolts. So they've got a grease fitting on there uh, that makes it super easy to service them and keep everything quiet and smooth. The whole setup's been awesome um, and held up great for us. So we're super happy with it. So at the front, we have our Z1 big brake kit. These are our forged Z1 street calipers. They are custom powder coated to match the rest of the awesome livery we have on the truck. And we have them with a set of drilled and slotted two-piece rotors. These are awesome. We love them. They are a super awesome addition to the supercharger. You get going fast, you gotta stop fast too. And they are awesome for if you're gonna be towing, if you're gonna be running down the canyon super fast, if you're gonna be hauling on back country roads, whatever you're gonna be doing. They are a great way to stop safely and stop all the mass you have, whether that's just your big off-road you know, mud terrain tires, or all the gear you have on the board too. But we have a solution for the rear coming soon. They are in development currently, and we're hoping to get those out as soon as we can. But yeah, so far these are our favorite brake system that we can install, and they're, they're fantastic. To complement our Titan Swap, we have our extended stainless steel brake lines at all four corners. These are awesome products that we have. They fit perfectly, and they are necessary for this amount of travel that you have. For our off-road lighting, we went with Baja Designs. We know they're tried and true and we really like their products. In the bumper up front, we have a 20-inch Onyx 6 light bar in amber. We're fans of amber. Uh, paired with a set of ditch lights on our ditch light brackets. These are also amber, they're the Squadron Pros. And then up on the roof, mounted on the front runner roof rack, we have a set of six XL linkable white combo lights. Um, so they give you the spot and the flood. Overall, it's an insanely bright setup. We love it. It is incredibly bright. It is <laughs> stupid powerful. And it's all powered by our Bantam X, which is made by S-Pod. So the Bantam X is really cool. It allows you to connect all these lights into one unit and then send one cable into the cab that connects to a module that you can control right there next to the shifter, wherever you decide to put it. And it's a really convenient way to set up your lights that makes wiring a painless and easy install. We really had a good time installing it and it's been a flawless system to work with. So we've got our front runner roof rack system. It's their slimline design system. We have uh, a ton of stuff on here. It's really cool. Uh, it gives us a spot to mount all of our light bar in the front. It's got a wind fairing. It's got their uh, recovery board mount in the front holding our ARB Tread Pro recovery boards. Uh, we've got their Wolfpack storage system on top and the mount and then my favorite part, there's a stainless steel table that stores in here. Really cool. Uh, we've also got a bottle opener on the other side, all front runner products, minus the light bar of course, but all front runner products holding this together. It's a super cool setup. It's really rock solid. We love it. So one of my favorite products that I've gotten designed here at Z1 Off-Road is this bed rack. This thing is super solid. It's made from three millimeter mild steel. It's powder coated with a UV resistant finish. It is super, super stout. Uh, you know, we've had like four or five people standing up here on this thing with no problems. It's rated to uh, 1400 pounds, static load, 
when you're at your campsite and whatnot, you'll have no problem uh, with your rooftop tent. Like we've got here, we've got, actually got the Nismo rooftop tent, which is uh, super cool. You'll have the option to upgrade it with uh, different attachments as well. So this will come with molly panel add-ons for the sides uh, and the front section. Um, and those will work with all of our molly panel accessories. Um, you know, we, we put a lot of time and thought into uh, making all of these things work really well together. Um, and I think we did a great job at that. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to start seeing these things on, uh, on everybody's trucks. These will fit any uh, five foot bed frontier. Um, yeah, and so we'll move on to the inside of the truck bed. So in here, we've got a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, the most big and obvious thing you'll see here is Cameron's prototype for their spare tire carrier. This should work with really any size uh, spare tire. It'll keep it nice and out of the way so that you can still use your truck bed, obviously. You'll see the bedside molly panels that we've got here. These things are really nice if you're a camper or overlander because they help you essentially keep all your stuff secured and organized out of the way, doing whatever you're doing, whether that's driving across the country or just driving down your local trails, they're super nice to have. Uh, you'll also notice that we have one on the cab side as well. So that's uh, one of our new products that will be coming out here soon. Um, and it's the same thing, you know, uh, they're laser cut um, and super strong. Uh, you know, we mounted all kinds of stuff on here, axes, so you also see the utility track that we've got up here on the sides. That's a uh, direct replacement for the OEM Utilitrack system. And it works just the same with all of our same accessories, especially our Z1 speed cleat tie downs. Those work great for ratchet straps and uh, tarps, whatever you name it. We've seen all kinds of crazy uses for these things. They're super popular and really easy to quickly move around. You'll also notice the floor utility track system. So uh, the D40 Frontier actually came with floor utility track, but the D41 did not get that, unfortunately. Uh, and that was, you know, one of our favorites here. So we made a point to make a kit to retrofit that to your D41 Frontier. So the floor utility track, the side utility track, our molly panels, it all comes together to keep your bed super organized and have all your gear ready to go when you need it. All right, guys. So one of my favorite projects I've gotten to do here at Z1 and really my favorite thing I've designed ever is the assault bumper for the D41 Frontier. This thing is awesome because it comes as a three-piece design. So if you just want to run the center section and just replace that OEM plastic section uh, with something a little bit more durable, you can do that or you can go on and do a full high clearance cut and bolt on our wing sections, which will give you a lot more approach angle and uh, the bumper accommodates a 12,000 pound winch. We've actually got the Warren Xeon 10S on here. We wanted to go with the best of the best. You'll see we've got their fair lead as well and the uh, Factor 55 Ultra Hook. That also came in a nice orange to match our uh, Z1 off-road livery that we've got for the truck. Um, and then you'll also see our billet uh, recovery tackles. So those come with a three quarter inch stainless shoulder bolt and then they're made from 7075 aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, we've done extensive testing on these, pulling at all different angles and uh, a bunch of FEA as well. So modeling these on the computer, making sure that they're not gonna fail, not gonna be a safety hazard. Uh, and yeah, these things are very strong. Super happy with how those came out. So the way we do really any project here at Z1 is we start with a 3D scan of the vehicle. So we actually came through here and 3D scanned the whole front side of the truck um, and tailored the bumper, essentially designed around that to make it make sure that it would be a perfect fit. Uh, it really streamlines our design process as well. I, I love getting to do it. Yeah, it helps us create, I guess, really cool products like this. Uh, that have a perfect fit. And of course we understand that, uh, you know, there's gonna be some variance between the trucks uh, as far as the positioning of the body relative to the frame. So we designed a lot of adjustability into this bumper as well. Uh, so it's got a good amount of adjustability up and down, left and right, so that you can tailor fit it to your truck. Um, and so we've done that with this truck and yeah, we're, we're super happy with the fit and finish and uh, this thing can take a beating. So, uh, And as far as that goes, uh, we can actually move on and I'll tell you a little bit about our rock sliders and some of the uh, armor that we've got up underneath the truck as well. 
All right, guys, so these are our Z1 off-road rock sliders. When we designed these, we set out to make not only the strongest rock slider on the market, but something that would be super easy to install. Uh, so that means no drilling through the frame, and we also wanted something that would be body lift compatible. The way we did that is we 3D scanned the side of the truck, we generated a 3D model, and then we ran a whole bunch of FEA and simulation on that model. To accomplish such a strong design, we used half-inch plate to mount up to the surface of the frame. We used saddle gussets to connect all the critical joints between the different sections of tube. And then that tube itself is two-inch DOM, so it's the best of the best. We also added support brackets that wrap all the way around and up through the frame. So as you apply a load to the rock slider, it's not going to want to peel away from the frame, but rather stay nice and tight, rigid. And the end result is something super, super strong that'll hold up to just about anything you can throw at it. These also function as a step so that you can climb into the cab. They're super practical uh, and they protect the side of your truck really well. So it's a great peace of mind to have if you're going down the trail or through a rock garden. Uh, just really beating on your truck, it'll protect your, uh, your rocker panels really well. So up underneath our truck here, we've got the full Z1 off-road skid plate package. So that starts with our radiator skid. Then we can move on to our oil pan skid. That's got a nice service panel to make your oil changes nice and easy. Behind our oil pan skid, we've got our transmission skid and then our transfer case skid. And then finally in the rear, we've got the gas tank skid and a prototype for our diff skid. Um, you'll also notice on the axle, the solid axle there, we've got our shock skids. Uh, those things are awesome because they keep you from bashing up those shock mounts on rocks and logs, anything that might be laying in the trail. You know, on our own trucks, we've actually had issues with that where, you know, you hit it a little bit too hard and it bends, but this will prevent that entirely. So these things are awesome. Uh, and yeah, you know, you want to protect all the uh, critical components up under here. And uh, we think our kit does a great job of that product we have here is the Z1 Off-Road Rear Seat Storage System. It is a Molly system. You can store all your Molly packs and whatever you want on the sides of it and front. Um, another really cool feature about it and probably the most important feature is that it is a home for an onboard air system. So we have this hooked up with a ARB twin pump. It has a switch right here that you can activate from the side and then it has a permanent line running from the compressor to the side of the panel here with a quick connect mount. Um, we've included a pump up kit with this one, but you can reach all four tires from this location. You can uh, fit any size pump in there. It'll fit a single, a twin, um, really most that are on the market. Uh, it's been designed to be accommodating for most. It's a really great location. It's easy to wire to and it sits nice and compact under the seat. You're not going to run into any compatibility issues and it should be compatible with D40 and D41 Frontiers. Okay, so we know that was a ton of stuff. Simon and I have been all over this truck, installing every single part on it at least once, usually more than once. And it's been an awesome build and we've loved every minute of it. Like Cameron said, that was a lot of information, but if you have any more questions about the truck or any of our products, feel free to reach out to our team. And stay tuned. Maybe we have one more truck coming. Maybe we have two. Who knows? We'll find out soon.